Hey YouTubers, this is Kingly Day 6, aka Raven, and welcome to another rendition of the Juggernauts. Now, where is Psycho Dad? As you can tell by this picture that Jess got, he did a terrible job doing a selfie. <laughs> As you can tell, he has a beer in his hand, and it looks like somewhere tropical. Now, Jesse believes he used the money to go on vacation. From the looks of it, I think he did. Red... Read on inst on Instagram and also on the, uh, his videos, saying that he wanted to get away from Jess and everybody else, just the way how things are. Now, I think he needs this. If he did take the money, it's wrong to do. But I, I still can't get over the fact that maybe he does claim that money because he didn't ask for content or. Ask if you can be in the video. But like I said before, Jess needs to talk to his dad about how YouTube is actually making this money. Making him money and being famous. Jess still doesn't believe, just is trying to explain it, but I guess his dad doesn't want to listen. But I mean, I'm sure you guys can understand that. I'm sure you guys actually think that I'm just being naive. On thinking that he, it's not his, it's not that guy's money, his dad's money and everything. But think about it. How would you feel if you decided to do a video vlog of your life, but you want to have your parents involved? But calling your dad psycho dad and everything is terrible. And like I said on the on my other video, why would you call your mom the psycho mom too? That's very disrespectful. And I thought you loved your mom for that. <laughs> but judging how they talk to each other on the on, the, on their video bullying point. She has a feeling that his mom, the mom that he knows, is not there anymore. But like it's like I said earlier, your mom needed a change. I mean, come on, look how happy she was when she wasn't with him for the last two years, all of the psycho series. I think if uh, Jess. Did not actually add him as the psycho series or and having all this drama. The mom would have still been, been with him till today. But things don't go the way you plan. And things get out of hand. Out of hand, of course. At the um the Psycho Dad uh QA session, they asked uh, how did uh his dad get his son into video games? And he said it was simple. He um, he bought a Nintendo, and they got you know as you guys know don't know about back in the nineties they came out with the, or, or or late eighties of course they came out with the Nintendo system and you get Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt dual cartridges cartridge and um, when he watched his dad play Super Mario Brothers he wanted to play and his dad let him play. And, and soon enough, he got hooked. Yeah, you know, as kids experience video games like that, it makes you kind of want to explore the world of video games. Seeing all the different varieties, learning all the experience, and learning new things. Like I told you guys, video games are very good to get people together and teaching people how to be a team. Now, a father-son thing, that's very good. But, I guess, well, with his dad, he, he also said that you have to grow up. you got to stop playing video games. you got to experience life. You know, like, going out, meet people. You have to get a job. The job thing really pissed Jess off, of course. And he actually believes that this video game thing and doing YouTube is pointless because... He feels like Jess is being lazy. What do you guys think? I just got home from work and I can still do videos. I'm not lazy. I have a job and I have to do that to pay bills and take care of myself and also my dogs. I have two chihuahuas, of course. So, I understand where his dad's coming from, but I think his dad's just living in the old world of, you have to, you know, there's no electricity. There's no Wi-Fi. Jess is pretty lucky. If he w if he would have went and lived in his time where there's no uh, smartphones, no video games, no nothing. There's Atari, of course. I'm sure that 
He might get bored just like that. But, um... He should know that the world doesn't revolve around video games and recording. I'm sure that he experienced life. But it kind of sucks that uh, his dad is actually taking a vacation. And I, if he did use the money, shame on him. But also, like I said, he, I think he deserves some of that money. And of course, Jeffrey doesn't uh, ask for money at all. He does sell this Big Brother t-shirts, of course. And that's pretty good. And also, he gets paid a little bit for doing his YouTube videos, too. As for Uncle Larry, uh, someone commented is that, what about Uncle Larry? How about if he doesn't get paid? If you've seen the video, uh, Unsafe and Unsound, that's the uh, aftermath after when his dad took the money, he said, I don't ask you for money. All I want is just shout-outs to my channel, and that's it. And he does that. But... It's kind of funny how Jeffrey, Je uh, not Jeffrey, uh, Jess doesn't uh, share it. It's like I told you before. Um, he did this channel with his mom and his dad and his brothers and his friends. But he thought of it as a hobby. Not like a, a job thing. But when, when the Psycho series started, he sees it, seen it as an opportunity to be a job. Well, with your dad, with the dad, if he, he still thinks of it as a hobby, he told him that before, but Jess does ju just gave up on trying to explain to him what, how YouTube works. He shouldn't give up. If he can try to talk to his dad like a, like a son should, things could work out. He is a little shaken after the psycho dad's drunken rants. It was on New Year's Eve, and he looked at him and said, it's all your fault. All your fault. And I said, look what you did to this family. And Jess just, just said, what family? That's kind of dumb that Jess said that. But even though if, if his, dad, his dad was drunk, his dad's scared. I mean, he's a single dad. He's, a, he's single now. But he's in a house taking care of two boys, and he has to pay the bills, do a lot of work. And the mom helped uh, helped him out too. I've seen him seen her do it in a lot of videos that they've done. Um, his dad, I'm sure the dad didn't mean to say those things. He's just saying that because he's scared. He's scared because now he's all by himself. He has to take care of the house, take care of his sons. Now he now that he's in now that he's living in their house now because he took the money and he's trying to fix up Aunt Jackie's place. Um, that's exactly what the mom talked about on boiling point. He said that that's what it's gotta be. He's doing this. He took that money so he can help him save himself. Cause if he can't be able to do all this on his own, he needs help. If he were to ask his son for help, I'm sure he would, but. I think you and me, you and I both know that he would not have helped him at all. He wouldn't have given him money after the way he's been treated and how he destroyed his things. You guys give me your opinion on that. But mm, it's kind of funny how family does this to each other. <laughs> I don't know. I, like I said in the other videos, I don't care if it's real or fake. It's just good entertainment. It's like watching a soap opera like I always say. You guys keep uh, commenting and saying, it is fake. No, it is real. Like I said, I don't care if it's real or fake. It's entertaining. I think that's what Jess is going for. Entertainment. And also a lot of drama, of course. <laughs> but I sense there's going to be another Psycho, uh, psycho Dad uh, video coming our way. I'm sure when he gets back. I don't know when he's going to come back. But we'll find that out soon. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more reactions and more comments, of course. Yeah, this has been a good night. I just got off work, got everything done. Now I can't wait to relax and go to bed. All right, thank you for watching my video. And above all, like I always say, stay positive.